It's been a tough year for the markets, but health savings accounts are very much alive and well. In fact, HSA contributions and withdrawals were up significantly in the first half of the year, despite the market slowdown. HSA assets grew to $98.8 billion. That's a 6% increase from last year. The number of accounts rose 9% to nearly $34 million. So what's driving the growth? Well, health savings accounts allow people to contribute pre-tax dollars to cover qualified medical expenses. Those expenses include things like deductibles and co-payments. And let's be honest, anything that can help cover rising health care costs is welcome news in this economy. To help you plan for your HSA deductions next year, IBD has ranked the 13 best HSA accounts of 2023. IBD's list highlights HSAs that offer a winning combination of low fees, high quality investment options, and low minimum investment requirements offered directly to individuals. Fidelity Investments received all five of IBD's category awards in this year's Best HSA Accounts list. Optum, HSA Bank, Liberty Federal Credit Union, Saturna, and Lively each received two category awards, while Avidia, Lake Michigan Credit Union, and First American Bank were single category award winners. And another piece of good news, contribution limits are going up for 2023. HSA users will be able to contribute $3,850 for an individual and $7,750 per family. People 55 and older are eligible for catch-up contributions of $1,000 in 2023. The important evolution has been that people think of HSAs alongside of, let's say, a 401k as a longer-term savings vehicle. When they approach retirement, they're, they're going to have two sources of money. One, their 401k for retirement income, but the second, if they do the right thing in the HSA, is the HSA to help them with retiree health care expenses. Now, did you know that a 65-year-old couple retiring today will need an average of $315,000 for medical expenses throughout retirement? And if you're single, that cost can range anywhere from $150,000 to $165,000. Now, these are big, scary numbers, but HSAs can help you fill those gaps. The HSA is just this incredibly powerful tax incentive vehicle, in some ways even more tax incentive than a 401k, because you can contribute pre-tax, your investment earnings are not taxed, and then if you take it out for qualified medical purposes, you're not taxed on that either. The triple tax advantage is one of the main benefits of an HSA. HSA funds are also portable, meaning they can move with you from job to job. And you can use HSA funds over a number of years, but only a small fraction of employers and employees understand these benefits. Here's some other popular HSA myths and misconceptions. Myth number one, health savings accounts and flexible spending accounts are the same thing. Well, that's simply not true. FSA and HSA accounts have very different rules. The most important difference is that the funds in your HSA account never expire. Myth number two, you can't have a health savings account if you're self-employed. Another popular misconception is that HSAs aren't available to self-employed people or those working for an employer who doesn't offer an HSA. Anyone who's enrolled in a high deductible HSA qualified health plan can set up an HSA account. And myth number three, Health savings accounts have the same tax advantages as individual retirement accounts. Now, it might surprise you, but HSAs are actually better than IRAs when it comes to taxes. Remember, HSAs have a triple tax advantage because you can fund an HSA with pre-tax dollars. And if you invest your HSA funds, any gains that they make are tax-free on a federal level forever. And when you withdraw money from your HSA account for medical expenses, you don't pay tax on those either, whereas IRA withdrawals are taxed. Health savings accounts are powerful savings and investing tools, but to take full advantage of these accounts, savers should evaluate the best HSAs and select one that fits their needs. You can learn more about our list of the 13 best HSA accounts by visiting investors.com HSA. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.